this is my diesel heater which uh, I done a little experiment a few days ago to see if we could uh, pipe the exhaust fumes through it and make use of those hot exhaust gases to get some heat out of them so in the last video I just put the um, exhaust fumes in that that valve there and coming straight out of that valve there as you would um, if you was plumbing the radiator up to a normal water system um, but a few people have said to me it would be nice if it went all the way through the fins like starting at one end a lot of people have said the top um, and go diagonally through the radiator and come out the bottom um, and coming out the bottom for the reason that um, any moisture is going to travel down there and end up going out the exhaust pipe so we'll get it switched on and uh, and see if it works, see if it's any better get it up to heat, see if it's any better going uh, through the radiator like this or makes no difference at all be interesting to find out uh, plus the fact there's nothing on the television so I'd rather be in the garage doing this there you go, that's just uh, heating up now they take about three minutes to get going um, you've got a glow plug in there which uh, has to get hot um, and then heats the diesel up and then you'll start to hear the um, there you go bang on cue the, the diesel pump tapping away in the back and then you, you'll gradually get a little roar and then heat will start coming out you're getting no fumes from uh, from this end by the way all the fumes are going straight out the exhaust pipe, well through the radiator and straight out the exhaust pipe. It's starting to get slightly warm now. Uh, I've only got it on setting 3. It goes up to setting 6. Yeah, that, that's starting to get hot. And so is the top of the radiator. nothing at all there yet no, nothing there at all now already you can't touch that can you need it can you really touch that the top but straight away it's gone it's gone to the other end So we're only a minute in. You, you can't touch. You can't touch the top of the radiator. That has that has really sped along there. That is that is really hot. It's, it's slightly coming down here. Yeah, and, and there. And surprisingly, this is this is quite a, war, a, a warm part of the radiator. With with probably um, a cool spot in the middle. Another minute in, you cannot, you cannot touch the top. That is red hot all the way across there. The, the bottom's very hot, not quite as hot, and and the sides are hot as well. Well, we're not quite as hot as the top and the bottom, but the middle, it's it's warm, it's warm. And of course, where do you, where you get the main heat from? This this is this is toast. Okay, so we are just outside here. Unfortunately, it's dark, but uh, you can see there's uh, there's a fair bit of moisture coming out. There's some steam and uh, the odd drip coming out. I think about beautiful is that's that's a great little heater but um this as a bonus I mean I've got, I've got a two kilowatt um convection heater in there and it's not giving out as much much heat as that is 
and this is this is free heat. I'd say I'd say this is giving out more than more than the two kilowatts that that gives out easily. Uh, again, you're not touch it. You can't touch that. It would be a problem if you was mounting it somewhere because the, 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 that, the back of that's going to get very hot. So that would be a concern. Where the where the exhaust goes in, it's going to be a lot hotter than other parts of the radiator just depending on where you where it goes in warm in the middle yes it's warm but you can still touch it back outside again is it the steam still still coming out and I have to say with this first start up there's probably a little bit of smell in that in the in the fumes maybe a bit of the, uh, the kind of the paints burning off the, the top of the uh, the radiator because it didn't get that hot before it was the bottom that was getting more hot before but i imagine that will burn off just switch the main heater off that's cooled down uh, i think this radiator will be hot for quite a while yet yeah. Uh, but as a conclusion to the quick experiment, I think having the exhaust pipe running into the top of the radiator, going all the way through it and coming out the bottom, I think it was much more effective than just letting the most. Of, I think most of the exhaust, when I had it connected there and there, it was just passing straight through and not going through the fins. So I would say this is a, a better way of doing it. Um, one thing to point out, though, this. Where the exhaust goes into the radiator it does get very hot um, so just be careful how you mount it and where you mount it if there's anything that could you know suffer from the heat uh, but yeah thank you very much for watching that um, if you haven't saw my other videos I've got one of these pumping the uh, pumping hot air through the brick wall I've got it outside in a box and uh, that's heating my uh, house up so please have a look at that in my other videos if you haven't saw it already. Uh, thanks very much for watching. I hope this has helped. Uh, there's a couple of people that I've spoke to. They're going to be doing this shortly. So uh, yeah, I hope this has helped you. Um, please like and subscribe if you've liked it. Thank you very much for watching. Good night.